Good evening, board members, Mr. Santos, district staff, and members of the school district. The time is 6.06 p.m. on this, the 18th day of October, 2017, and I call this meeting of the United Independent School District Board of Trustees to order. Ms. Oliveros, could you please call roll? Yes, sir. Ramiro Velis. Present. Ricardo Rodriguez. Present. Chad Gilpin. Present. Juan Roberto Ramirez. Present. Ricardo Molina. Present. Alisa Oliveros. Present. And Javier Montemayor. We have a quorum. Thank you, ma'am. Let this record show that a quorum of board members is present, that this meeting has been duly called, and that notice of this meeting has been posted in accordance with Texas Open Meetings Act. Agenda number three, board announcements. Does the board has any announcement? Oh, the I'm sorry? Oh, that's right. Board. I'm sorry, please, 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 please. The Pledge of Allegiance, I'm sorry. Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America, the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty. Please have a seat. Please excuse me. Agenda item number three, board announcements. Are there any board announcements at the, this time? Okay, no board announcement. Mr. Not item number five, uh, excuse me, number four. Excuse me, the essay is five because I wrote a number five here. We have five recognition, Mr. Santos. Yes, I'm just going to be a member of the board. It's the time in the board meeting where we're able to recognize our students, our parents, and our community ready for the support and the job that. Well done. If y'all can join me at the front, please we recognize me. Good evening, members of the board, Mr. Santos, members of the audience. Tonight, we'd like to recognize the Instructional Television Department for two accomplishments. First, the ITV Department was recently nominated for the Emmy Award by the Lone Star Chapter, which is part of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. The nominated video featured the UISD Fine Arts Program. Second, we would also like to recognize the ITV Department for winning six Marcom Video Awards in the education category. MARCOM is an international competition that recognizes outstanding creative achievement by marketing and communication professionals. This year, there were over 6,500 entries from throughout the United States, Canada, and 15 other countries. UISD winning MARCOM video awards included Sexting, Think Before You Post, Platinum Award, United South High School Football Promo, Platinum Award, Alexander High School Football Promo, Gold Award, School Safety PSA, Gold Award, Kia Soul Tennis PSA, Honorable Mention, UISD Magnificent 7 Board Appreciation Video, Honorable Mention. The ITV department includes photographers Pete Martinez, Joe Moreno, Luis Garza, Huicho Salinas, Ruben Vela, Secretary Ana Prada, Christina Chavez, and Director Susan Carlson.
Good evening, uh, board members, Mitchell Santos, members of the audience. It's my pleasure to recognize a young lady from Clark, and I would like us to help honor her. Her name is Crystal Enojosa, and let me show you what she did. As you know, this is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and this young lady won a, a very prestigious honor. It says, at the most basic angels, some uh, symbols of love, peace, and perhaps the most importantly, hope. Royal Medical Center Angels of Hope is a tribute to all cancer patients who are currently faced with the challenge, challenge of battling this disease and to those who courageously fought and ultimately succumbed to this disease. The Angel of Hope unveiling ceremony is an annual event where Laredo, Morning, Laredo Medical Center unveils a local artist, which is the first time that a middle school student has ever won it, a rendition of what the Angels of Hope embodies and represents. Alongside LMC elite team of cancer specialists, members of LMC administrative team, special guests, the 27 Angel of Hope was unveiled. And so we are very proud of her artwork. Crystal took inspiration from many different sources to create her beautiful masterpiece. I'm honored that my artwork is going to be inspired to those that, that lost hope, said Crystal, to know that something I created will help others in the quest of fighting disease and very inspiring to me. So congratulations to Crystal. <laughs> Clark has been busy. We have another group of girls. Girl Scouts, I would like you to come up, if you don't mind. The Clark Middle School students, Samantha Cardenas, Gabriela Ramirez, and Ariana Sanchez, members of the Girl, Sc Girl Scouts Troop 9167, successfully fulfilled their mission of helping out breast cancer patients of Laredo. Together with the assistance of many generous citizens, they were able to surpass their goal of putting together 400 cancer care packages. In fact, the girls were able to achieve the goal that they never imagined to accomplish. They were able to put together over 650 packages instead. Under the guidance and direction of their troop leader, they were able to gather items that all cancer patients can benefit from having while going through cancer treatment. They collected, uh, they collected uh, items such as socks to keep patients warm, hard candy to avoid uh, dry mouth, sanitizers to keep germs away, chapsticks to keep their lips moist, gum uh, typically used to moisten patients' mouths, crossword puzzles to help pass the time as they receive treatment. Each detail was carefully thought out and researched before they were given. In addition to commi uh, committing their time and energy to this project, the girls through thought it would be nice to add a little something personal. Each package included a handwritten note with words of encouragement and inspiration from each of the girls in the troop. We wanted to make sure that each patient who receives a package knows that it came from them and they wish them the best. Help me congratulate these young ladies. <laughs> Community service at its best. Good evening, distinguished audience members. We have two outstanding art students from J.B. Alexander High School whom I'd like to introduce to you. Their name is Sydney Silva and Carlo Bird. <laughs> J.B. Alexander High School students Sidney Silva and Carlo Bird obtained a silver medal at the Blick Mixed Media National Art Contest in May 2017. There were about 900 artworks submitted nationwide and only 15 artworks were selected for awards. This contest invited students in grades 12 through the kinder through 12th grade to express their experiences and imagine the things they can connect to through art. Participants created a work of art and an accompanying artist statement then completed the following statement. With art, I can connect to. Their teachers are Ms. Sandra Gonzalez and Ms. Erica Buenteo, and their principal is Mr. Ernesto Sandoval. Congratulations, Sydney and Carlo.
Good evening, board members, Mr. Santos, members of the audience. Uh, we are here to recognize, to take this opportunity to recognize students from Alexander High School, United High School, United South High School, who participated in the HP5 Summer Internship uh, Pilot Project. The Summer Internship Project was initiated by the Coalition for Apprenticeship Partners in Economic Development, founded by Sylvia Purcell, in partnership with the City of Laredo. These students interned in various city departments, contributing over 2,300 community service hours. These students were really busy this summer, and, and instead of that, they gave up their summer to, to go and, and, and go through this experience. I'm going to, uh, Ms. Sylvia Purcell is here to say a quick, a quick word, a uh, few words to, uh, to address the board. Good evening, uh, Superintendent Santos and board members, and thank you for the opportunity to give these students uh, an exposure to the real life workplace experience. It was an eye opening experience. And as you know, this is a part of streamlining the governor's tri agency task force with TEA, Higher Education Coordinating Board, and the Texas Workforce Commission to link education and industries. We are elated to see uh, both school districts engaged, our city of Laredo, and we hope that we can continue this program. I would like to now invite our chairman of the board, Dr. Juan Lira, to say a few words. And we also have uh, Ms. Monica Garcia. She is with the Transit Department, City of Laredo, to say just 30 seconds of her experience. She led an amazing internship, eight-week program with our students. Thank you. Sylvia, uh, it's indeed an honor, uh, Mr. Santos and board members, for me to be up here as chairman of our advisory committee uh, to represent CAPED and also to, to inform you how proud we are of each and one of the students that took part in this initiative this summer with us. Uh, I had a chance to visit with a number of them and they were extremely pleased to realize the kind of insights that they developed as a consequence of combining real world experiences with the classroom experience that they had already had. Give them a new, a new way of looking at a potential career and that's what we want. That was our intent in order to do this. We're looking forward to more opportunities to collaborate with you and to help develop within these students very, very important skills such as critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and obviously their creativity because these are important concepts that we want all of these students to, de uh, to develop because we know they'll be very important to, to all of them. So on behalf of all of us who work with CAPED, we want to thank you for your support. For our... Uh just a few words. I would also like to recognize Javier Montemayor. He's one of our board of directors, and I just want to thank him for his leadership. We also did issue an outcome report with surveys that were conducted from the students, surveys from the directors, uh, that you should have a copy of this report. If you don't, we'd be glad to send it to you electronically. For the interns, we will ask you if you can go to the foyer at the end so that we can give you your certificate of completion for the hours you, you got for your community service. Thank you. Here next is Monica. Good evening, uh, Superintendent and Board Members. Monica Garcia from El Metro Transit. Uh, the Transit Department, along with other city departments, was selected to participate in the CAPAT Internship Pilot Program this past summer of 2017. El Metro's administration saw the internships program as a priceless opportunity to develop future public transportation advocates. El Metro is leading public transportation provider in the state of Texas with over 3.2 million riders every year with our buses traveling over 1.7 million miles a year. Even as we take part on these numbers, we also strive and reach out to the community to engage future travelers. The CAPAD program provided us with an opportunity to educate the future leaders of the city on the value that public transportation brings to the community. From improving the mobility of the community by reducing traffic congestion to helping reduce the carbon monoxide footprint to our environment, El Metro provides a safe and reliable transportation alternative to the city of Laredo and its visitors. Under the direction of Ms. Clada San Miguel, El Metro's general manager, we developed a program where as interns got to learn firsthand from each department the ins and outs of transit department. They had the opportunity to learn payroll, planning of routes, fu funding process from the FTA and TxDOT departments maintenance program of our buses, assets, community outreach, and taking passenger surveys, as well as a lift operational process. Interns took the challenge to identify areas of opportunity, research solutions from our transit agencies, and presented their findings to El Metro's administration. And we get glad to report that they complete their assignment in a professional manner. Our objective to develop advocates that can help us relay the message to the next generation of value of their local transit system was met. 
On behalf of our General Manager, Gladys San Miguel, and myself, Monica Garcia, uh, we would like to thank Ms. Sylvia Parcel from CAPED for allowing to participate in the 2017 summer program and hope that 2018 will have an even larger group of participants. Thank you. Okay, first up we have, if we can have the students from Alexander High School come up on the stage and be recognized along with Alexander High School's administrators, please. Thank you, Mr. Sandoval and, and administrators from Alexander High School. Next up, we have students from United High School, along with Mr. Aleman and Mr. Lopez, please, here. Thank you, United High School. And now we have the students from United South High School, the principal, Ms. Adriana Ramirez, and assistant principal, Mr. Coroma.
Thank you, United South High School. This one. Was there a Okay, uh, agenda item number five, superintendent's report, Mr. Santos. No report, sir, at this point. No, no reports? Just for the record, Mr. Montemayor is present at the meeting. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <coughs> agenda <laughs> item number six. There are no comments. public comments. No co public comments. Okay. Agenda item number seven, at this time, we moved on to the consent agenda items. Is business and instructional at this, uh, this month to make a uh, motion to approve A through I. Is there any amendment? Yes, there's uh, several requests I'd like to read into the records and uh, some housekeeping that was to do with in the packet that you received for this board meeting. We have an, an, another discretionary funds request from Troutman Elementary School from Ms. Daida Gonzalez, sponsored by Mr. Javier Montemayor. It's for smart board bundles for two classrooms. Total amount of the request is $12,650.88. We have a request from Kennedy Zapata Elementary School from Ms. Tomo Martinez Principal, sponsored by Mr. Ricardo Molina Sr. It's for library books, for uh, AR, and for AR laminating film, donors, drones for classroom printers, bordette, and butcher paper for use in the classrooms. Uh, estimated cost of $4,999.11. We have a request from Clark Elementary, Gabriela Perez, uh, principal, sponsored by Mr. Javier Montemayor for Accelerated Reader Program. Uh, the amount of the request is $4,113.77. We have a request from John B. Alexander High School, Mr. Ernesto Sandoval, Jr., my principal, sponsored by Mr. Juan Roberto Ramirez. Its monies requested will be used to take magnet students to a cadaver lab in Spring Branch, Texas. Students will do hands-on activities on, on human cadavers. Amount of the request is $2,500. Yes, Cadaver lab? Cadavers. Okay, my motion would be A through I, and also the amendments of the discretionary funds to be added. If I, if I may, one more item. There, are some, there were some requests that were inadvertently included in this packet, and I'd just like to let you know which ones to disregard okay. at this time. On page 122, there was a request from Veterans Memorial. That was approved in September, so I ask that you disregard that one. Page 126, we had a request from United Middle School. That was also approved in September, and I ask that you disregard that one. <clears throat> and on page 129, the request from United Middle School again was also approved in September, and I ask that you disregard that one. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stringer. So my motion would be A through I, and also to add the amendments of the discretionary form, uh, forms and to disregard the uh, discretionary forms that Mr. Sunia said to disregard. Second. We had a motion. There's a second. All those in favor? Motion carries. Agenda item six, excuse me, eight. Items for individual consideration. Approval of donations. Yes, uh, so meeting members of the board, 
it is recommended that the board trustees graciously accept the following donations. And these will be attached to the minutes. We have six donations that were donated to the UIS, the communication department. And this is the amount. 15000 from for Paul Watson, Auto Group, the sponsor of the golf tournament. $2,000 from Frost Bank to be used for the golf tournament. $1,000 from Quantum Electric to be used for the golf tournament. $1,000 from M1 Network to be used in the golf tournament. $1,000 from Gulf Coast Paper Company to be used in the golf tournament. $1,000 from VA Basani Soccer Venture to be used for the golf tournament. Uh, UISD Bilingual ESL Department received a donation of $1,000 from the Oregon Research Institute to be used with expenses for professional development. Alexander High School received uh, a donation of $1,500 from the Alexander High School Football Booster Club to be used for the gym sound system. Alexander High School received a donation of $1,000 from the Radio Sport Medicine Clinic to be used for the boys' athletic trainers. And we have other donations under $1,000, which is 12 uh, donations for a grand total of $22,390.76 that we graciously accept. I want to thank these uh, businesses that support our schools and our projects. I'm sorry, $27,390.76. Thank you, sir. Uh, is there a motion regarding the approval of donations presented? I'll move. Second. Is it, is it second? Is a motion <coughs> approved? Any discussion? All those in favor? Motion passes. Item number 8B, approval of board minutes for the months of September 2017 and October 2017. Is there a motion regarding the approval of board minutes for the months of September 17 and October 17 as presented? Motion. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Motion passes. Item C. I need a motion to open public hearing in regard to One Excel Learning Student Success Initiative SSI MAT Software. There was a motion and there was a second. All those in favor? Motion carries. <laughs> the public is hearing, the public hearing is open now. Um, Mr. Ramirez and board members and Mr. Santos, as you know, Senate Bill 1474 requires us to have this open meeting to have our public to come and, and comment. Uh, back in either September, I did present to you that we were looking at a software package for math. The state did no longer is funding the think through math. And so we were looking at another product that could maybe be better for us, for our district, that will serve our students a little better. And that's why we're doing this today. OK. Uh, are there any public comments? Are there any public comments? Then if not, I need a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. There's a second. There's a motion. Okay. There's a second. All in favor? Motion carries. Thank you. 8C, approval of purchase of one Excel learning math software for student success initiative, SSI. Is there a motion regarding approval of purchase of one Excel learning math software for students initiative, SSI, as presented? So moved. Second. There's a motion. There's a second. All those in favor? Well, on that discussion, how much is this program going to cost? It's going to be about 43. Uh, 47.5 for the first year. We want to go ahead and just test it out. It's the same price that Think Through Math would have been. So we felt that this uh, would service a lot better our kids. That would be, we can we can get more kids that will benefit from this particular program. Any additional training for your teachers? Anything we, different that's going to happen on this program than what's already happened on the on the other one? The Think Through Math. We uh, started some training already through a pilot program. We did uh, a last district staff development meeting that we had back on the 9th. Uh, Ms. Montsevice, she is our coordinator for middle school. She was able to bring down a consultant to come down and to share some of the things that were there. I do want you to know we did run a pilot for some several weeks. And unanimously, all the math folks said they preferred this particular uh, product. Nothing further. Okay. I go for the vote again. All those in favor? Motion passes. Thank you. Agenda item nine. Closed session. The time is 
937. Excuse me? 637. Okay. What time is it? <laughs> 637. And the board will adjourn into closed session pursuant to section 551.071, 551.074, and 551.076 of the Texas Government Code to discuss agenda items A, excuse me, item 9, A, B, and C. Agenda item number 10, we convene from closed session. The time is 7.30, not 9.30, 7.30. 7.30, <laughs> and the board will take appropriate action on item, if necessary, and discuss in closed session. A, discussion and possible action on amend the 2017-2018 Student Code of Conduct and 2017-2018 Student Handbook. Santos, is there a recommendation? I'd like to just move the table right now myself. Actually, we can move the table items A, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and uh, yeah. bring them up at a later date. I'll amend my motion to that. But agenda items 10A, 10B, and 10C, which are, uh, that's a, basically the motion is to table it at this time. Well, it's all three policy items. I'd like the motion to table all three. Okay. Yeah. Motion will be tabled. Second. All those in favor? Motion passes. C. Uh, actually, it's agenda item 10D, which is uh, the grievance recommendation by Paul King. Uh, in executive session, and at this time, recommendation is that no action be taken on the 10D. So moved. There's a motion, and there's a second. Any discussion? None. All those in favor? Motion passes. No action would uphold the administration's position. Is there a motion? No. Understood. We have 10 Understood. Feet, Understood. which is the grievance of Lina Volpe. Okay, uh, second. Okay, so that's uh, 10E. Um, 10E. You need a recommendation on that. An honorable board decision regarding the recommendation to the grievance subcommittee on the matter of level three employee grievance of Lina Volpe and any action related to the same. Is there a motion? A motion to, I, I move to uphold the, or to, to take no action at this time. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Motion passes. No action upholds the administration's position. Any action? Any motion? Uh, no motion to adjourn. Sorry? Motion to adjourn? Yes. Is there action? Second. Second. Second.